so it's this whole area, so let's just work our way up to the lodge since we have a quest up there. We should run out of, run into enough of these disease bristle hides from going up there. We're just, we're just gonna be the ruins of Freeland. Let's see. Oh wow. There's a bunch of different spots and you get patience. In combat power regen, resistant trading, and physical myth. That's good. It's definitely good. You just gotta find all those locations. is done. Let's head up to the hunting lodge. I think that's the last one we have that we haven't finished. There we go. Oh, something aggroed us. That fight was so boring. <laughs> How long have you been saving that one? I've been sitting on that one for a while. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll give you credit. I like the, the way they did the sky. It was cool. The birds out in the yeah, distance. You can see the, the stars reflecting off the water. Just wow. Yeah, they did a really good job. It's a great atmosphere. When you go to uh, Rivendell, it's uh, breathtaking. The waterfalls and the, the, you're in the middle of the forest. And it, it looks just as amazing as it does in the movie, even though they did take a different approach with it in this. Um, it is breathtaking. Moria, it's very hard to find your way around. You get lost very easy. But you're just looking up to see the way stuff's carved and statues and corridors, and it, it's pretty amazing. Wow, that would be, that'd be so cool. And yet you actually get to go and meet Elrond? Yeah, you I do mean, actually meet Elrond in Rivendell. Oh, there's Nate. Okay, so we need to turn in, which is all in town. Let's head back to town. I'm sorry, Anne. It can never be. You are not the you are not the Granger that he hopes you to be. You're not the Granger I'm looking for. Move along. Move along. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's kind of dirty making a Star Wars reference in a <laughs> in a Lord of, Lord of the Rings game. <laughs> it's like we're mixing things we shouldn't be mixing. <laughs> well, they have swords too, it's alright. <laughs> They're shiny sci-fi swords, though. Yeah, and there's magic. Well, I guess, shooting lightning out of your hand. <laughs> yeah, it's a magical duct tape. <laughs> magical duct tape? Totally. The Force is duct tape. The light side, the dark side, holds everything together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my mind was just blown. If your mind was blown, leave it in the comments, because my mind was definitely just blown. I think I leveled again. Let's talk to the Warden Trainer. Fortunately for me, my mind was feathered. Oh, jeez. It's got nothing for me. My guess is it's going to go every other level for a while here. Greetings. Oh, look at all this stuff to choose from. Ooh, a javelin? How much better is the shield? Oh, it's better. Well, that's an easy choice for me. I can only use one of the things on there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, javelin's a big difference. I'll get that. I hit levels. There we go. You can use your next gift there. 
Dark Relic Mirror. Attack damage buff. Max power buff. Max morale buff. Tome of Defense. Hour and a half for a bunch of... Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's talk to Bracket Brooklyn. What do you need? Greetings. Okay. Turning behind us. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? Rations. So rations are a unique thing in this game. Let's see if I can find them in the bag here. Um, I don't actually see them in the bag. Everybody's probably pointing and going, they're right there! Oh, this is a good example, anyway. Uh, basically, what these are is these are duration items. It takes you a little while to actually eat them. Once they're done, they give you all these benefits for five minutes. Um, it's kind of like uh, it's a buff, is what it is. You're buffing your guy what do you uh, need? to get better regeneration. Stay a moment. Sometimes you got to do that because everything's just brutal. What that extra in combat regeneration can mean win or law, win or lose. up here. Where is the prologue? Proprietor of the comb? Okay, so the, she, we have the quest to go to comb, which is the next main city. If we head down this way, it goes to comb. Which is, as you can see, the world is very large. here. It's Moria there. Area door. Mordor. Everything you'd expect. Okay. So we're going to... Easiest thing is to head up here first. Let's open our horses. Your horse looks like a purple gift. There you go. Off to the round thing up there. Okay. Come on, old mully. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, so just head over to the Ring O Mountains. It's so exciting. I guess is we've got to go on the back end where the spiders were originally. Right over here. Oh, no need. Complete free quests. 15 total. Get empathy. You can see how these will add up pretty quick. You just keep doing these deeds. Keep stacking these now, virtues. How do you tell when uh, the mobs are when, when the mobs are aggro or not. Um, let's take a look. We'll hover over. Because I've noticed some of the things that uh, that you know mobs that I thought would be are not, and then others that I just assumed wouldn't be are. Well, yellow yellow names means they're not. I know that. I mean, not yellow names. Yellow life bars. Oh, okay, so you actually have to hover over them or click on them? Yeah. Red bars mean they are. 
Darn it. Dismount. <laughs> Your uh, mount has a health bar, by the way. Bolly over here. Missing journal pages. They like on the ground or around here? Finding reason. Yep, they're around here. Are they? Within the caves. Excellent. Cocoon, huh? Ugh. That was a good movie. <laughs> Got uh, one page. I guess that updated. Yeah, I was in the cocoon. Okay, so we'll head. What about in the cocoon too? I don't think so. I think it was the search for more old people. Just in the cocoon. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like slaughtering some spiders. Always fun. So while we're decimating spiders, I know it's been a while since you played the game. What do, what do you think? Do you like the changes they've made? Actually, yeah, quite a bit. Um, everything, uh, everything that I've seen so far, it's. Because I, I remember when I when I played it originally, I got to maybe level 11. And, um, I don't know, it just didn't really strike me as one that I wanted to stick with. Even though I had, you know, multiple friends that were playing it. And, I mean, now I could... Actually, I'm probably going to <laughs> play this one off and on. It's definitely the beauty of a free-to-play game. If, uh, your, your count's always there, so... If you want to jump in and play, you don't have to enter a credit card or anything, you just jump in and play. Yeah, that's what I really liked about, um, I know, like, the first one that I ever played like that was, uh, uh, Guild Wars, and, I mean, that one, I never really played it a lot, but, yeah, it was, you know, every, every, you know, maybe once every few months, I'd think, oh, you know, I'm kind of bored, looking for something else to do, something different, oh, okay, let's, let's, you know, turn that on, let's, let's play with that for a little bit. Yeah, very much so, it's nice to have that there, you know? I always keep those games, the free-to-play ones, installed on my system. I mean, you might as well. Yeah, really. Yeah, Guild Wars is actually a, a series I'm looking to do. We'll definitely do Guild Wars 2, but I'd like to touch on Guild Wars 1 before we get there, because it is a fun game. And it is one of those games where once you buy it, it is free. They do not charge a, uh, a subscription fee. Plus the benefits of having played uh, Guild Wars 1 going into Guild Wars 2 after. Yeah, you, you can you do unlock stuff. There are a lot of spiders. That's okay, I got a lot of sword. <laughs> I think we need more, so we gotta go back in. Also, a lot of feather. Yes, you do have a lot of feather. I'll give you that. Feather, feather strong, and sword, sure. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that's quite how that goes, but we'll, we'll go with that version. <laughs> 